All right, everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by, I appreciate it. So today I just want to go over the union tool list. This is, these are the tools that you are required to provide for yourself um, when you are in the union. I am missing a few of these. Um, I do have a crescent wrench, which I will show you, but it's uh, eight inch instead of a 10 inch. But the only tool that I do not have is the center punch or owl, however you pronounce that. And then the hacksaw frame, which I might have around here somewhere in the garage, but um, no one ever carries these really, just because companies provide you with sawzalls and stuff like that. So um, that one I'm not really worried about, but this one is about the only tool that I would need. But I'll throw in some pictures and show you what these look like um, for the ones that are missing. But anyways, let's just go down through the list and I'll just show you what you are required to have. So the first one is the side cutting pliers, um, which is also pretty much the same thing as this, the diagonal cutting pliers. So that is these guys right here. So this is the first tool that you'll need. One of the first tools I actually bought as an apprentice as when I was non-union. Um, and then you have your claw hammer, which is right here, just your basic hammer. Um, and then you have your two pairs of channel locks. I'm not sure what the 420, 430 means, but as long as you have um, two of the medium set, um, I'm sure that will do you just fine. Um, and then it says go with the small tip flat screwdriver, medium tip flat screwdriver, large tip flat screwdriver. I'm sure if you just buy one of these, this will get you covered for everything you need. I'm not sure um, what size these are referring to for the flat screwdrivers, if it just means number one, number two, number three as well, because down here you have your Phillips screwdrivers, one, two, and three. Um, but anyways, I'm assuming this is the medium tip and maybe this would be the large tip, kind of your beater screwdriver. Um, but for the most part, I believe if you just get one of these 11 and ones that will take care of your um, three Phillips screwdrivers and your three um, flat um, tip screwdrivers. So this is not focusing, I'm sorry. Um, so it really just depends on your choice if you want to downsize and carry the least amount of tools as possible. Get one of these guys. If you want to carry one of each, then you'll be carrying six screwdrivers. Um, so this is a number two, and I'm assuming that's a number two. So if you want to carry one of each, then you'll be carrying six screwdrivers. If not, then you just carry one of these. So and I'll also show you that another tool similar in a second if you want to downsize. Um, and then you got your knife, so just whatever knife that you want. You can pick whatever brand of tools that you want, whether you want to go Klein or just whatever Walmart brand, whatever you want to choose. It's up to you, depending on how much money that you want to spend. But if you are investing and just starting out, I do suggest buying quality tools that will last you a long time. Love my Kleins, love my Nipex, um, other good brands, Milwaukee, Greenlee, stuff like that. But if you just have some basic tools, it's not going to be super hard just to start out with some basic tools and then upgrade as you go um, just to get started if you want to, if you, if you don't have much money and you just want to get started, get some basic tools and then upgrade as you go once you get more money. And then you got your two stubby screwdrivers. Um, so once again, this is a, mul a multi one, so you can flip it around and this also has bigger screw, bigger tips as well. So it has four tips and it's also a nut driver. So Definitely love that one. Uh, let me just put that back together. So instead of carrying two, you can just get one that does a does multiple, so it does the job for both of them. And then you got your three Phillips screwdrivers, like I said, number one, number two, and number three. So once again, that will just be covered in your 11 and one. Um, and then you got your torpedo level. And I just love the magnetic ones. Obviously, that's going to be pretty important if you're doing commercial work for pipes. Going to need one with magnets on it. Um, and then once it, once again, the center punch, um, which I'm missing. And then the 10 inch adjustable crescent wrench. Um, this is an eight inch one that I have in the garage um, right here. I'm assuming I've never even had to use one of these in my life. I don't think as an electrician, but you're just required to have it. So I think an eight inch would be fine, but it says 10 inch, so buy yourself a 10 inch. Um, and then we got the long nose pliers, which are right there. And then your 
tool container, whether that is a pouch, a box, a bucket, a bag. So I usually just carry all my tools in my tool belt right here. Um, but here's an example of a tool bag. A lot of people use these or something similar. There's a lot of different options you can go. Check them out at Home Depot or online, wherever you want to shop at Lowe's, Home Depot, anything like that. Um, so it's really up to you. If you use this, um, you're not going to be wearing it around your waist, which is nice. But then again, if you need to carry your tools, it's going to be pretty inconvenient. Um, so really just up to you. I do like this because I have this little um, clip on there so I can hook it on a ladder and basically take it with me wherever I go so I don't have to wear it, um, but it's still right next to me. It's going to be pretty hard to take this up on a ladder and hook it on somewhere. Um, so the option is up to you. Um, moving on, going with the steel tape measure, 12 foot minimum. I got the 25 foot Milwaukee magnetic tip right there. And then you got your wire strippers and your wiggy tester, uh, which is right here, strippers and your wiggy tester. I'm pretty sure um, it's referring to this. If not, it is referring to this, but it does not sound like it. I really doubt they would require you when you're starting out as an electrician to buy this $100 tester. Um, anyways, moving on, we got the hacksaw frame, which I said I was missing, which I will show you. Um, maybe I already missed that. Um, down here at the Allen wrenches. Um, so once again, you can get one of these to do the job instead of, um, most of them come like this anyways, but there are separate ones that you can get individually or a different kind of set, but this will, should, this should take care of all your things. Granted that this is the correct size, 3 16 to 3 8 and this is, three eighths to one quarter. So that's only 25. So this should get you everything that you need. Your five sizes right there. Um, and then your nut driver set or quarter inch socket set. So I just bought this. I think it was about 30 to $36. This is actually pretty heavy, um, but this is a multi, multi nut driver set. So um, you got your two sizes here. You take out this piece right here. And then it's kind of hard to do one-handed, but you have your 7 16 right here. And then you can take this out and flip it around. If I can do this, all right. So on the other side you have, and they're all labeled your 3 8 So they each have a color. And then you have your 9 16 when you pull this one out. Um, so it's really handy. And then once again, your 7 16 right there. So. Um, that one's really cool if you want to get one of these. Um, so if you get one of those, you don't have to carry your nut driver set. So this is the whole nut driver set. So this one tool takes care of all of these. So you don't have to carry how many ever this is. Eight of these or so. So you have, instead of carrying eight of these, which you don't want to carry, which would probably take up half of your tool bag, um, just carry one of these. They're about the same weight. Um, this one versus all of those ones. This one might be a little bit heavier, but it's gonna be more compact. You don't wanna carry all those around with you all the time. Um, so definitely, I would suggest one of these. I'm gonna start carrying this around probably. Um, and then lastly, we got a few more. Um, and then also the quarter inch socket set, which looks like this. You can go with one of these, uh, which you're probably not gonna wanna carry as well in your tool bag. And then this is an example of the ratchet that you would use for that. This is not a quarter inch, but you get the picture if you want to use one of these with one of those. Um, and then your pair of gloves, which they are provided through the company, um, but it is on the tool list. So whatever kind of gloves that you like, these are the ones that my company gave me. And then lastly, the combination wrenches, 3 8 7 16 quarter, 9 16 And those look like these. Um, I'm not sure if these two came together or if I lost the other set of this and the other set of this, but um, these are the, I'm not going to um, butcher this, these are the metric ones, the three quarter, the five eighths, and then I'm supposed to have the three eighths and seven sixteenths, but I have the standard, the 13 millimeter, 10 millimeter, um, but I believe it's the same thing. Um, if I'm not mistaken, but if they come together in a package, 
with the um, sizes right here, 3 8 7 16 half inch, 9 16 to go with that. Um, but if it doesn't and it comes in a set with the standard and the metric, then I think you'll still be good, but don't quote me on that. So anyways, lastly, it says um, provide yourself with rain gear or weather related clothing and safety boots. My safety boots are in the house. That's obviously another choice that you get to pick of what kind of boots that you like. Um, but, and the same with the rain gear. This is the rain gear that my old company gave me. Um, if you can't tell, that is the coat with the two arms on the left and the right. And the pants right here are right there. So anyways, that is the Union Tool List. Hopefully this helps you out. I will throw in the pictures of the center punch. You get the idea for the 10 inch crescent wrench, which is just a bigger version of that by two inches. And then the hacksaw frame, if you haven't seen one of those, I'll throw that picture in. So anyways, guys, these are the tools that you need to be a union electrician in IBW48. These are the tools they require you to own or provide for yourself. Once again, I believe you can probably eliminate these tools right here if you use this tool right there. Um, but it's really up to you how you want to arrange your tools and whatnot. So... These are the basic tools you need, all you need to provide and be um, equipped in the union to make some good money. So anyways, hopefully this helped you out, give you guys a visual representation of the tools you need. As always, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. I'd appreciate it and help out the channel. Don't forget to check the description for anything else and hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload or do live streams. Thanks guys so much. God bless and have an awesome rest of your day. Peace out. I did just want to mention that the other side of the 11 and 1 is the square and the Torx bit. So this will only have the Phillips size number 1 and number 2. So you will need to buy a number 3 Phillips. Um, but technically, I don't even know if I've ever seen one or used one. Um, so that's just a heads up. And same with the flat blade. You will only have a number 1 and number 2. So you will need a large tip. Um, but I would just suggest one of these anyways. Um, I don't even think that's a number three. This might be a number six or that's just a label for it. But anyways, this should cover for your flat blade and then a number three if you want to, but um, definitely probably not gonna be needed. So anyways, just wanna give you that guys, just wanna give you guys that information to clarify things so not confuse you. Lastly, on the first item, the side cutting pliers, I don't know if that means lineman pliers. Um, I don't really carry them with me ever. I do have them in my extra tool bag. Um, so I'm not sure if side cutting pliers are linemans and diagonal cutting pliers are your dikes right here, um, or if it just means if those both, both of these items are referring to this. So um, maybe some clarification on that would be great, but I do not know on that.